They don't glitter like gold. They don't flow like oil. But they could decide who holds power in the years ahead. Seventeen metals buried deep beneath the earth are now at the centre of a global race. They power the phone in your hand, the car on your street, the wind turbines on your horizon, and the weapons that defend nations. They are called rare earth elements, and they are quietly reshaping global power. From Washington to Beijing, from Canberra to New Delhi, governments are racing to secure them. Because whoever controls rare earths controls the future of technology. Rare earths are a group of 17 metallic elements used in almost every modern device. They are the hidden foundation of modern life, metals that make today's technology possible. Take them away and everything slows down. According to the US Geological Survey, the world holds over 90 million tons of known rare earth reserves. But holding reserves doesn't mean controlling supply. The real advantage lies in refining, the process that turns raw ore into usable materials. That's where China dominates. Today, China reportedly mines around 70% of global rare earth output and processes about 90% of it. In October, China expanded its export controls. Rare earth elements are now driving a new kind of diplomacy. In the 20th century, power came from pipelines. But in this century, it flows through refineries, chip foundries and magnet factories.